All right, welcome to uh, Introduction to Music Theory. Uh, by now, you should have uh, completed your, uh, your first uh, syllabus uh, introduction assignment and uh, downloaded Finale Notepad to your computer. So if you have not yet downloaded Finale Notepad, as you can see right over here, I already have it on my computer right here. Uh, but uh, if you have not yet uh, downloaded Finale Notepad, go ahead and do so because you can't really move forward until you do. So uh, if uh, you need to download, then stop the video, download Finale Notepad, and, and come back to us. Uh, if you have downloaded Finale Notepad, then you're ready to go and uh, let's move forward. All right, so Finale Notepad is on our laptop. We have our icon right over here. And uh, it, the program has a little bit of a learning curve. It's really not that bad, but it's a wonderful piece of software that uh, you'll be using a lot in this course for uh, doing all of your music notations. So you won't have to go uh, download uh, sheet music or, or music paper or anything like that. You'll be doing everything right here on Finale Notepad like the professional composers do. So that'll be kind of exciting. So. Here's Finale Notepad. We start like any other program by clicking on Finale Notepad, and it opens up uh, just as you see. Now, it asks for a serial number. I've had this version of Finale Notepad since, oh, probably 2012, 2013. I've never had a serial number. I just hit Remind Me Later, and we are ready to go. Now then, once you start a new document, this is how it'll always start. You'll have the document setup wizard. The first thing it's going to ask you for is the document information. So at the top, we have the title. And uh, the title is always going to be our assignment. And in this case, it's assignment 01. So I'm going to type into the title box assignment 01. Now, Right below, it asks for composer. You, the student, are the composer. So you'll be writing your last name right there. Uh, you can also put your first name uh, or, or initial uh, if you like, uh, but uh, I just put my last name. Seems uh, for me, so uh, there we go. I'll put that there, but don't type Waltmuth there. You'll, you need to put uh, your last name. Now, below you see we have a page size and portrait uh, landscape. For a while, we're going to leave that alone. For what you're going to be doing right now, all of those settings will be fine. But later on, we may be adjusting those for, for more advanced assignments. So we have assignment 01 in the title box. We have your last name as the composer. We're leaving the page size alone. We're good to go. Let's click Next. And now it's time to set up the staff. Now for this assignment, you're going to be creating both a staff and a grand staff. Now first we're going to do just a regular staff and it's really quite simple. Matter of fact, it's basically already set up to do that for you. As you see here in box number one, it says blank staff. Now here we reconfirm that that is what we want, a blank staff. We click it and now the add box comes alive and we can then move, or excuse me, click Add. And here in the third box, this is exactly what Finale is going to create. So here it suggests, here we confirm, we add, and this is what Finale is going to do. Don't worry about the score order box right now. Leave that checked, it will be just fine. So just leave that alone. So, uh, for creating the blank staff, this is how it should look. Blank staff in all three boxes and click Next. Now we're to our third box of the document setup wizard. And as we can see here, we're given time signature options, key signature options, and number of measures. We'll be talking about these uh, as the course goes forward and, and later on we'll be changing those, but for now, Four over four is perfectly uh, great for the time signature. The key is C, major key, leave all of that alone. 
The only thing we're going to change is right over here, number of measures. We don't need 31 measures. We only need four. We're going to change that to four and click finish. Voila, you have created a blank staff. Now then, Later on, we'll be adding notes and rests, which you'll do with these boxes all up here. We'll talk about these later, uh, and you'll be able to listen to your assignment or listen to your creations, excuse me, uh, up here. Uh, we'll, we'll get into all of these wonderful things as the course progresses. However, right here, you have now created your staff. So now what we got to do is save this assignment and turn it into a PDF so that we can submit it. So we go up here to File and Print. Now, you see the Print dialog box comes up as it should for you. And right here, it says System Printer Microsoft Print to PDF. Now, your computer may not say that at this point. So what you want to do is come over here to Setup, click Setup, and in this drop-down box, you'll have a number of options. You see, your, your options will probably be different than mine, but I'm positive you'll have Microsoft Print to PDF. Select that right there. Leave your portrait uh, orientation in place. That's going to be just fine. And click OK. Now, when you do that, your print dialog box should now look exactly like mine does. System printer, Microsoft print to PDF. We're ready to go. Copies one, 600 DPI. All that's wonderful. Leave it alone and click OK. We now have the save print output as box. And this is real important. You don't want to skip a step. So first we're going to come over here and select desktop because you're going to want to send this uh, want to uh, uh, make this uh, be right there. So we'll go to file name, assignment, 01, staff. And we see here that it's still in PDF format. If it isn't for some reason, make sure we fix that. Sometimes uh, something goes weird. So make sure that says PDF. We're saving to the desktop. We know exactly what it is. It's once again saving in PDF format, and we click Save. Now, before we exit Finale Notepad, we want to make sure that it really did what we asked. And sure enough, right over here on the top of my screen, I have Assignment 01 Staff. Now, depending on what you have on your laptop uh, desktop, it, your assignment may save somewhere else. So you want to check and uh, find that there. But as we can see, assignment 01 is right there, ready to go as a staff. So we're going to go ahead and exit that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, finale notepad. Uh, I'm going to just say, yeah. Oh, I think I'm just going to, sorry about that, just clear out. All right. So now let's do the second half of this introduction assignment. We're going to create a grand staff. We'll talk more about what a grand staff is later, but uh, we're going to go through the exact same process. We're going to come over here to Finale Notepad, open it up, remind me later, assignment 01 is just fine for this. Composer, you'll put your last name, leave the page size and portrait alone, go to next. Now, here's where things get a little bit different. For the grand staff, we're going to come to keyboards. Then we're going to click piano, add. We see piano is right here. We're ready to go. Leave score order alone and click next. We're going to leave 4-4 alone. We're going to leave everything alone with the key signatures. We're going to come over here to the number of measures, and we're going to change that to 4. And click Finish. Voila, you have created a grand staff. As you can see, you have both the treble and bass clef 
on your sheet music, whereas uh, on the regular staff, you just had treble clap. So that's the difference between the regular staff and the treble clap, or excuse me, and the between the grand staff and the regular staff. So now we're going to save this. Say, or excuse me, go to print. Okay. Make sure that we're at Microsoft Print to PDF. If not, we'll, we'll use our setup. But if we are, we'll hit OK. We'll verify that we're going to save it to the desktop. Assignment 01 Grand Staff. And we see that it is in PDF format. And we hit Save. Now then, we want to verify that it is there, and sure enough, we have both our staff and our grand staff. So we'll get out of there. We're ready to go. All right then. So our next job is to submit our assignments. So we go to the course website. And we have here assignment 01. Click here. Wonderful. Now it's going to ask you to sign in. And so you're going to uh, Go ahead and uh, sign in to your account. Okay. Excuse me, got to get that right. And there we go. Now, as everything has said, you cannot submit without being logged into your Google account. So if you haven't created a Google account, please make sure that you do that. So. We go to assignment 01, choose your campus. So which campus do you attend? You're going to type your last name. Type your first name, your student ID, whatever that is. I'll just put a sample number there and whatever email address you would like feedback to go to about your assignment and click next so we have assignment 001 ready to go so we add our file select files from your computer desktop Regular staff, make sure you select the right one and upload. And now here we do the grand staff. Select files from your computer, desktop, the grand staff, upload, and you are ready to submit. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, if you have any problems at all, do not hesitate to uh, email me, and I'll be more than glad to help you through this. You may need to watch the video once or twice, uh, but, but I think uh, between the video and a, and a couple emails, we'll be able to get you through it all. So once again, we're really excited to have you in the class. I hope this video gets you through the first time. Don't hesitate to email at all if there are any problems whatsoever. And uh, 
look forward to seeing you soon.